Hello, we are with our partners X Space Engineering in Miami. We are going to unbox this new machine, Creality K1. We want to use the 3D printing in our daily stacks in the chat. So stay there and watch the next video. They are going to use this machine in the process inside of the company. I'm here with Miguel and Santi, the owners of the company, and I'm going to ask them how they are going to apply or to use this technology inside of the company. So, Santi, tell us about it, please. Of course, yes. Danny, first of all, thank you for being here with us today. Uh, we want to use the 3D printing in our daily stacks in the shop. Uh, we want to manufacture special toolings. Uh, we, as an aerospace uh, shop, we receive so many uh, components. Uh, and it will help us to get those special toolings in our daily uh, tasks, basically. Uh, integrate with the design and validate the functionality of the part uh, in a short time. So this, this printer is uh, is closed. I mean, it has this external structure. This, this uh, configuration will allow us to print with uh, some uh, materials like ABS to keep the internal heat in the chamber. So it's, it's a great machine for, for using these uh, different types of materials. Even you can use PLA, PETG, ABS, TPU with this machine. So here we have some tools. This is the screen, stouch. So we will assemble it in, in the front. Here we have tools for cleaning the nozzle. These are the hexagonal keys to assemble it. This one is glue stick for the heat bed. Here we have some tools to remove the part from the heat bed. Wrench. We have here some grease for the mechanism. And here we have the USB stick to, to put the G-code into the machine. Here we have the support of the, of the spool. And here we have a rubber support the machine to avoid a vibration so we are going to install this as well we're going to follow a few steps we're going to install the screen we're going to install the filament support and we're going to remove some screws inside of the machine and that's it so let's do it so santi you can install the filament support in the back and we are going to remove this tape and install the spring like this. Okay, next we are going to remove some screws inside. So let's remove this tape. The voltage selector is in this phase of the machine, so we have to turn it. And here you can use a, a light and you will find that by default it's set to 230 and we need to change it to 115. So using the screwdriver, you will push this indicator to one side. Okay, so the next step is start the handle. We are going to proceed starting the handle in the, uh, in the door. Uh, you gotta make sure the screen, you have to push it down, so that way the, the door don't hit the, the screen. Now we have to take this out, the surface. We have to remove the protective frame. Try not to put any fingers in the surface, so we just have to remove it from here.
Amazing. Now we are going to remove these three bolts. You can identify them by a yellow arrow, which is included here. So let's do it. We are going to install the cover. The cover is recommended for ABS uh, filament, but it's not a strictly, a strictly necessary for PLA. So you can use it when uh, it's needed. So let's move to configure the printer. We are going to select English and then next. We already re removed all the screws. We also uh, verified that we don't, we don't have debris inside of the machine. Uh, we have to agree the privacy policy. And we can set up the network in the printer. After connecting to the network, we continue the time zone here we are in Miami, so it's East Time. Area International, next. Self-check, this place, the printing platform, it's placed. The self-check process will is expected to take around 11 minutes, so have 11 minutes to do it. And then touch the printing during the self-check. After a few minutes, the self-check was completed and everything is working properly. So, as I told you, this printer can uh, handle different types of materials. This one that Creality sent to us, thank you Creality, is PLA. However, in the company, they bought some uh, other filaments. Uh, for instance, this uh, PET-G. PET-G comes from the PET bottles, which is the same uh, polymer with G, which is glycol that it's a chemical bond, bonding um, inside of the material. So uh, we're going to start with the PLA. So we will cut here. And we're going to install this uh, filament in the back of the printer. So let's go. This is the spool holder. We're going to put the filament like this and we want it to fit the filament in this direction. Do not use this direction because in that way the filament could be broken. So be sure to be like this. Then we will cut at 45 degrees like this and we will fit the filament like this. This is a filament sensor. When the spool is, is empty, the filament sensor will detect that we don't have filament in the printer and it will uh, pause the, the print in order to keep continuing and continuing and lose the print. So, so far we feel some resistance here, which means that the filament already is in the hot end. However, because the hot end is not hot at this moment, we are not melting the filament. So we have to come back to the screen and preheat the printer and continue feeding the filament. So let's go to the front. Here in the home screen, we can set up the temperature we want. Usually the PLA will melt between 200 and 220 Celsius. So we will set here at 215, one, five, and click OK. Here we have a graph uh, that shows the temperature against time. And as you can see, the temperature is increasing right now. We are going to wait until 215 and we will push a little bit of filament in order to melt it in the nozzle. While we wait for preheating, we will put the cover on the machine because sometimes here in Miami, you can find AC system everywhere. So it's better to, to keep the chamber uh, secure from this uh, Airflow. So be sure that this slot is in this direction. And that's it, it's covered. So 
We have the 215 degrees Celsius degrees or Celsius in the in the nozzle. So I will start pushing the filament, and you you will find that uh, in the nozzle it can be melted. However, I will um, load the filament manually. Extrude, and we are going to extrude. It's increasing the temperature to 240. Sometimes the settings of the machine are, are set like this, but it doesn't matter. So we are increasing to 240, and in a few seconds, we are going to start uh, extruding the filament. Everything is ready. It's time for our first print. So we can use the USB stick plugin. And then we are going in the screen to it detects that uh, I use the stick was connected and we can print the Benchy. Click on print and it will start preheating. If you want to buy this printer for you or your company, click on the link you can find on the description of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay tuned in the latest news in the additive manufacturing industry. We completed our first filament print here. We printed the Benchy model, which is the most famous one. Uh, we are uh, looking forward for new challenges in the company. And of course, we are going to continue printing some uh, components. And Miguel, next step is metal 3D printing, right? Yes, all right. Thank you, Daniel, for your help. And um, I appreciate uh, all your knowledge about that. Great. It's my pleasure. See you soon. Thank you, Daniel. Thank all you. Right.